Tell me about this new laptop. Why do you think it could take on Chromebooks? Well, one of the things we're excited about with Microsoft Education overall is really a, a couple new things. A new version of Windows that's designed to be more streamlined, simple, and give you better performance. It's called Windows 10S. Mm -hmm. A range of new devices from our OEM partners starting at $189 uh, with an HP stream and going up. These will give you things like pen, touch, ink, and the ability to run Minecraft. And then if you go up to higher education, then we have the new Surface Laptop, which Mark just showed you there in the video. And this is really like the perfect balance of personalization, performance in a 14 and a half hour, two and a half pound uh, form factor. And we think it's very compelling for people in higher ed. But Windows 10S doesn't have the cloud and web-based system that people use Chromebooks for. It's, actually, it's, actually, it's actually better. Okay. So basically what it is, uh, what Windows 10S does is, it's all of Windows as you know it. So you can do things like VR, 3D, pen and ink, but you get the two benefits, which is you get um, just the apps that come from the store. So you get that safety, you get that security, you get that performance, but you get none of the drawbacks of Chromebooks. So you get to work offline. 4.4 billion people in the world don't have internet connections. Mm -hmm. You get full office. You get the ability to run Minecraft. You get some really rich experiences, and that's how it sets us apart. And I think LeapFrog is the Chromebook. Do you think you can get share from Apple in the college kid market? I absolutely think we've got a great value prop. The new Surface Laptop has better battery life than any MacBook that's out on the market today. It's faster than the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro 13, uh, and it's also thinner. And so the combination of all those things, again, with the Windows on it, it's very differentiated. So Apple fans might say mm, they're not so fond of the features of, of Windows 10S. You know, what do you have to say to those people? Well, look, the good thing is the competition is you can choose the products you want. I mean, Apple makes great products, so we, we definitely admire that. I think what's great about Windows 10S is you can do some things you can't do on the Apple products. You can, virtual reality is really happening on Windows. That's 3D capability. If you like touch, if you like pen, these are all unique things on a laptop that you can't get. Surface sales declined considerably last quarter. The Surface, Surface Pro line is getting a little old. Uh, you know, what, what, what's the hardware strategy? Uh, well, it's a couple fold. So number one, we're in Surface to create new categories of computing. And you see that with Book, Surface Book, Surface Studio, even the original Surface Pro. And then what we want to do is we want to grow the overall Windows ecosystem. So HP, Dell, Lenovo, and that's happened. If you look at the last year, we've grown share in large part because of the pioneering work in Surface. In this last quarter, it's true, we've seen more price competition um, from OEMs that have you know, kind of impacted. And we're in the middle of a transition. L the Surface laptop is new today. And you, know, you might expect to see an update to Surface Pro 4 coming soon. Satya Nadella came in, uh, the CEO of Microsoft, saying cloud first, mobile first. Cloud first seems to be going really well. Yes. Give me the progress on mobile first. Where are we going? Well, the way I think about mobile first is we're all in on mobile in the sense that uh, all of our software will run on any device that you own. So uh, Office will run on iPhone and Android. Minecraft will run on iPhone and Android. Our management tools run across all those devices. So we embrace the world as we see it today, which is people use multiple devices, and they use Windows PCs and laptops and notebooks. So Windows 10, give yeah. us an update. Well, Windows 10 has been doing great. Uh, you know, it's been many months since we reported. We had over 400 million monthly active, 300 million plus use it every day for three and a half hours. It's uh, the fastest adoption in corporations we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing great deployment on that. New applications coming. We, we couldn't be more thrilled with the progress on Windows. All right.